If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG, and praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, baby. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. Check this out. So we have big news coming from the Liam Paro camp, man, and Richardson Hitches. We have Liam Paro going through with his first defense on December 7th. Good Lord willing against none other than Richard Sin hitches man this is good on both sides because richardson hitches as you may or may not know he's been the ibf mandatory uh since subra matias was a title holder and so he's been looking for a title shot and now he's gonna get it and then uh liam paro he's been asking for a worthy opponent for a while calling out Devin haney yeah. uh teofimo lopez yeah. and all the other champions at 140 you know uh, include alberto uh, puelo and uh jose rayo valenzuela you know he called them out and he hasn't really been able to get a worthy opponent or a good opponent and now his first defense is going against a nice contender, number one ranked Richardson Hitches, man. So this is a good fight. It's going to be in Puerto Rico, though. What? And I don't know why exactly it's going to be in Puerto Rico. I was like, man, you know, maybe it's because Subra Matias, who he beat, you know, to get the title. Liam Paro beat him to get the title. I was like, maybe that's why, because maybe he'll be on the card. But according to reports, uh, uh, Subra Matias will be fighting Gabriel Golas Valenzuela in November. Now, that hasn't been finalized yet. So that could change, you know, boxing moves with fluidity, man. One thing could be this and next thing could be this. So it's not finalized. So Subra Matias could be on the card. But I would have thought that uh uh liam paro would have would want to have his first defense back at the crib back in australia you know what i'm saying down under you know but it's in puerto rico i'm not really sure you know but hey if i'm liam paro you know i have some good memories in puerto rico you know because i got not only did i get my first title there but i went in my opponents <laughs> <laughs> backyard and took that so you know what I'm saying maybe i feel comfortable you know make me feel nostalgic i probably want to return too. you feel me so uh yeah it's going to be in puerto rico with richardson hitchens you know and uh or maybe maybe it's um you know they're saving some money you know earn with her you know way well, hey, a penny saved is a penny earned so maybe they're able to make more money in puerto rico or save more money in puerto rico you know from a uh, promotional organizational organizational um organizational standpoint you know what i'm saying so we'll see how it goes man y'all let me know what y'all think about that i think it's a great fight richard hitches versus liam paro sorry liam paro he's a champion liam paro versus richard hitches i don't know who in this wins this one man i think um if i had to pick right now i'm leaning towards liam paro because liam paro beat the uh quote-unquote boogeyman of the 140 pound division in super matias and richard hitches he fought a he, he fought a tough opponent show me my opponent and Gustavo Limos, will, who will also be fighting in November against Keyshawn Davis. Um, that was a tough fight. A lot of people thought it was controversial. I personally didn't think so. I thought it was a very competitive, close fight. But I thought Richardson Hitchens did enough to edge out the majority of the rounds. I believe I scored an 8-4. Um, so, uh, yeah, it was a tough fight, tough competitive fight. But you can have a tough, competitive, close fight and have a clear winner. And I thought every a lot of the rounds were close. But I thought... Uh, uh, Richard Hitchens did enough to edge out the majority of the rounds, and I thought he was a rightful winner. So, uh, yeah, man, we got Richard Hitchens, Liam Paro. If I had to pick right now today, I would lean towards Liam Paro, like I said, because I just think he's more uh, dynamic of a fighter. You know, Richard Hitchens has some range. He's tall, lanky, and, and, and he's long, man, and lean. And, you know, he has some pop on his punches, too, even though people believe he's pillow fisted, you know, but he has a very similar style to Devin Haney. Um, but I think Liam Paro, his combination of power and his ability to manage, uh, um, uh, of the uh, the ring, you know, what I'm saying, manage the real estate in the ring and control the floor. I think that he, him, his, his nice combination of power, uh, um, hand combination and hand speed. I think he's gonna dictate this um, this fight and bring it to him and. But like I said, I don't, it's tough, man, because I can see Richard Hitchens out pointing him too, you know, using his range and keeping him at the end of his jab and popping him and, you know what I'm saying, moving. But like I said, I think that uh, uh, Liam Paul's ability to dictate the spacing in the ring and, and his uh, hand combination, punching combinations and his power is going to be uh, a little bit too much to overwhelm Richard Hitchens late, man. So I think that I, I like I like Liam Paro by unanimous decision you know i think he's gonna win the later round so we'll see how it goes though man shout out to richard hitches if richard hitches just wins i'm cool with that because i like him too if liam paul wins i'm cool with that so i don't really have too much of a horse in the race from a preference standpoint but i, I would lean towards liam paul man so y'all let me know who y'all have in the, in, the, in the comments you had one job just the one and uh remember to hit that like button but most importantly remember with god we can do anything without god we're nothing the doctor's out peace
From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.